Hello everyone, it's Siam Kozaman and I'm posing with an Amphisbanian. It looks like a strange fleshy bracelet, but in fact it's a reptile, not a worm. And such a reptile that people have difficulty classifying these guys as snakes or lizards. And most believe they are in a membership of their own. A specific family of reptiles that look like worms that are neither snakes nor lizards but really unique creatures on their own you can see it's now wriggling about and explosively defecating while trying to escape you see here I have on my ring finger some high calcium amphisbanian shit and you will notice it's all white because this guy eats mostly snails, worms, things like that and it's kind of sticky and look what, look, titanium white, check this shit out titanium white, titanium white, you can't make paint like this as white as it gets in nature very nice, very nice animals, very humble and here we have one of the biggest flowers in the Mediterranean Basin. This is Arum, Arum vulgaris. Uh, there's also another kind of these plants called Titan Arum, Arum giganticus or something. That's bigger than this, but this is the biggest we have. And as you can see, it's a big fleshy kind of meat-like giant flower. And everything about this plant is arcane from top to bottom. Its uh, flower stalk has this kind of giant uh, flytrap like thing, and I can actually see it's full of water, but. And its stalk has these very nice giraffe like spots, and here you have a smaller kind. So, like this particular area is one of the highest biodiversity zones in this neighborhood and if you can turn here there's three more growing right there very bizarre very surreal a lot like the strange things i like to draw and also with these plants you can play a game so imagine like there's some trackers or something you hide so you hide and if someone's coming from here you say hey ah! And then they look at you and they're like, <laughs> and of course, <laughs> I'm not actually a rapist, it's just a plant, you see? Damn it, everyone, this is one of the most dangerous pieces of shit that's running around. You can't really see it, but it's there. It's a giant centipede so we found another interesting centipede under the rocks you could see this is a something that looks like a walking piece of spaghetti and it's actually a centipede related to that dangerous one we just saw earlier but you see this guy has so many body segments that it basically acts like a functional worm and as you can see it's just walking about and it likes moist, muddy, somewhat salty environments. That's why we found this by the sea. So now I'm gonna put him back where I found him. at this gimby it's like a brass knuckles it's like a kind of knuckle duster a reptilian knuckle duster it's another amphisbanian another lizard snake type underground reptile that that's doing its best to be a worm and if you look really closely it's got two little eyes well I'm so in love with these beasts it's absolutely fascinating I mean it's like a little snake, but 
there's something warm and leathery about it that if you handle snakes you know you wouldn't see with them and here we go And also one neat thing about these animals is that if you touch his head, he can crawl backwards. Like, a, well, he didn't really do it, but this is the head. So this animal's head and tail are really alike. So in the older days, people would sometimes think that they had two heads. And that's thus the name Amphisbaenia, which means goes both directions. So these were the plants and animals that we could film. Now, I'll give you a little slideshow of those of which I could take the pictures. Thank you.